So this is going to be a two-part video series on setting up a Django web server. Of course, you're going to need the operating system, so go ahead and set that up. And if you need to follow along with a tutorial, here's the one I did recently. The only change I would say um, I would like to make, and you can, you can read this on the blog post here, is the fact that um, I would recommend two things. One being uh, to select the standard system utilities option during the install process. Then also, uh, if you're doing this with a, um, I guess regardless if it's a hardware uh, server or a virtual server, disconnect the network cable. You can do that in the virtual mach machine software, um, depending on which software you're using uh, in the network settings. So that way it'll prompt you for the manual IP address. You don't have to mess with it later. So to give you a brief overview of what we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be setting up and configuring a bare bones Debian server. We're going to install some basic utilities on that server. We're going to configure sudo. We're going to remotely manage the server using SSH so we don't have to physically sit at the box. We're going to install a database. Uh, for this video series, we're going to do just MySQL, but the blog post will have instructions on uh, PostgreSQL. We're going to configure the database and then um, install pip and install and configure virtual environment. So after you got the OS installed, and you can see here I got Debian installed, we're sitting at the login prompt. This is the first time we're going to be logging into this server since I installed it really quick here. And um, basically what I like to do is install some basic utilities. So let's get logged in first. Uh, let's see, Davis. So the utilities I want to install or I typically like to install are OpenSSH server, screen, tree, vim, and sudo. Things like vim does come on it already by default, but it's it's a really stripped down basic version. Um, so we'll go ahead and update that with the latest version of vim. Let's go ahead and switch to our root user, su root. So first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and uh, resync the package index files and upgrade any of them if necessary. We're gonna do apt get update and apt get upgrade. Let this run for a second here. All right, so now let's go ahead and install our uh, all our little basic utilities. apt get install open oops, SSH server screen curl tree vim and sudo. Enter. Yes, we want to install that. So now we need to configure vim. What we can do is go ahead and copy an example dot vimrc file um, to our actual profile. So we're going to do copy for slash user share vim vim and we get seven. This one's going to be seven three for slash vim rc underscore example dot vim. And then we're going to copy that to our home directory here dot vimrc. Now we want to go ahead and configure sudo or sudoers. Um, basically, so we can use the sudo command instead of having to switch user all the time. So we are still logged in as our root account. And then we're going to go ahead and do user mod space dash lowercase a uppercase g sudo. And then your user account, your uh, non root user account, which minus C Davis. So now we're set up and I can go ahead and exit out of that. We should be able to um, log out of the server and then log back in. And then we should be able to use sudo commands. For example, like we should not be able to run ifconfig as our standard user. It doesn't recognize the command, so we'll go ahead and do sudo uh, ifconfig. And it wants the password for my non-root user. Enter, and then it runs it. So we're good there. Now, I don't want to sit here in this VM all the time, so what I want to do is um, be able to SSH and connect to it from my MacBook here. So if you need a quick tutorial on how to how to connect to uh, your Debian server from uh, like your MacBook or your Windows machine using SSH, check out this video here. All right, so I'm on my MacBook now, and I want to connect to that Debian server uh, over SSH so I don't have to sit there on that uh, machine anymore. So uh, what I'm going to do is type SSH space and the IP address 10.2.0.171. Yep, uh, okay with the key and uh, put my password in for my C Davis account. So now I'm connected to my Debian server. I want a way to, um, in case I'm disconnected from this, this SSH session, I want whatever I was working on on that session, I want it to still be there. So that's why I use a tool called Screen, S-C-R-E-E-N, and there's a lot of things you can do with this. 
that's definitely a uh, topic for a different video series here. But now that we got screen running, I'm going to go ahead and install the database. Now for this one, we are going to be installing MySQL. So I'm going to do sudo apt get install mysql-server. Enter my password here. Yes, I do. It's going to ask us to configure some of the settings here. So a new password for the root MySQL account. Um, go ahead and put whatever password you're going to want there. Now that we got MySQL up and running here, we want to go ahead and create a database. So uh, let's go ahead and log into it. My SQL dash u for user. We want the root and then dash p so it prompts us. And we're going to go ahead and enter that password that you just created. Now we're at the MySQL prompt. So we're going to type create database space and let's name it Django underscore db and then semicolon enter. All right, so now that we have a database installed, we're going to go ahead and type quit so we get out. Actually, you need to type exit to get out of there. Now, once we got MySQL installed, we want to install pip. So we're going to go sudo at git install python pip. Yes. Pip is a tool for assisting with the installation and management of uh, certain pa Python packages. There's a couple ways you can install it, but um, I'm just using a built-in package manager here. Now let's go ahead and create a directory for our development. Um, just nice to have, um, you know, one one single directory where we can store all of our virtual development environment. So we're gonna go ahead and cd back out of that. You can see we're here, and we got the downloads folder. We're gonna make dir. I'm gonna just call it dev. Now let's go ahead and install virtual in wrapper. Um, it's basically a set of extensions to uh, virtual in in sudo pip install virtual env wrapper so once that's installed we need to edit a few lines in our bash rc file so make sure you're in your home directory here and if you do ls al you can see i have a dot bash rc i'm using bash as my um, shell so i will use vi to edit bash rc we're going to go to the very bottom of this file and um, add a few lines i'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste these lines, but um, they will be available on the website. Go ahead and um, go to the end. And I will just paste it. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And we just need to reload our terminal session um, in order to get this, that new bash RC file to uh, reload. So I'm in for easy use. I'm just going to exit out of it and then I'm going to connect back up. So that concludes part one of two. And uh, for part two, if this video just came out, part two is probably not available yet. Um, if it has been out, then I'll put the link right here.